Um, I'm Anson Opara. I am a math teacher here at the high school. Um, and this is Elizabeth Husing. Um, we or well, Elizabeth really started the grant um, process and got these calculators that you see in front of you. Um, we've used them in algebra. We've used them in pre actually all of the math courses now. Um, I think we use some of our own money to buy some more sets to go along with it because they've worked out so well. Um, I think almost all of the classrooms have it except for one. So next year I think we're planning on taking our money um, and getting that last yeah. set. We decided not to buy books this year, but buy calculators yeah. only. So that's, yeah, we didn't buy any books this year at all. Um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, let you talk on some of these. So you guys can see some of the statistics up there um, of three classes that we used, of, used them in. Two of them showed improvement. Um, and there are probably a variety of reasons for um, the uh, pre-calc went up almost 10%, but we did a couple different things with that class this year. And uh, intermediate algebra went down a little bit, but we did a few different things with that. But I found it interesting looking at the advanced algebra class. Um, that stood standard from last year to this year. And the one thing we did add was the calculators, and that went up uh, only a percent, but we found that we were very excited about that when we looked at all the classes. It's a very challenging class here at the high school, so we were excited to see that improvement. Um, but as you guys can see, calculators have changed quite a bit since the one you guys used in high school, even the one I used in high school. So uh, what we're going to do is just show you quickly a couple features on this, high, on this uh, calculator here. Um, the top yellow part allows it to kind of communicate wirelessly with us so we can send out little polls. So um, in a second, something should show up on your screen if we set them up correctly. So hopefully something like this shows up, at least on a few of them. Um, oh, I'll press start poll, something I forget to do quite often. And a blank screen should show up on your calculator. And one thing I like to do with my classes, and they never want to stop, is I put up a question like this, and it's an estimation question. And I have them estimate how many pieces of candy corn, and there's a variety of questions. Some of you might have used this website before. How many pieces of candy corn are in that one-fourth cup? And so then what you need to do is, you know, talk with, amongst each other, decide what you think. And then in that spot where it says student type response, arrow down type in a number, and then we'll come around and we'll show you how to submit your answer. All right. Anson, did they all come in? So um, what we can do now is we send these out periodically throughout class. And if kids are dawdling, I can just stop the poll and say, oh, you're too late. And it didn't happen this time. Um, but what comes up is a bar graph of all the student answers. And, you know, so we have anywhere from 10, it looks like our low, up to 35. Um, and then this is a time with math questions. And in my class, you know, usually you see a variety repeat when we're doing math problems. And you have the student explain how did you come up with this answer, that type of thing. But, you know, for you guys, let's see. The grand answer, 19. Um, so... This is a feature we've really found useful, kind of to see are we moving too fast and really checking in with the kids. One of the most useful features I've found. Um, and then just one last thing we wanted to show you. The other thing that we like about this is that you can put um, app type things on the calculator. So we can take a, uh, we're looking at a sine and cosine graph and the students are allowed to explore. We build worksheets and investigations off of this. and the students are asked to change certain parameters and kind of say, well, what's going on? Can you explain it to me? So it becomes much more students are investigating the mathematics rather than um, Anson and I standing in front and saying, this does this, this does this, take the notes. They're really internalizing that information as they're discovering it themselves. So uh, yeah, thank you very much to the foundation. It has been an awesome year. Yeah, We're learning a lot. What I think our time's up. We're so. good. We're good. Um, the grant bought us, uh, I think it was 25, and then the department funded it to make sure we could have full classroom sets.
Oh, we can show you one last thing. Thank oh, you. And then we'll. Oh, go ahead. Sure. All right. So um, when the kids log on to these, they log on each day. And um, let's see. Here it is. The, so we know you guys are logged on as a test class. But we can capture the screen of all the classes, of all the students that are logged in. And we can click on a student. So somebody's calculator looks like this. So if everybody could press, um, press letter A right now on your calculator. And oh, that's, oh, that's you. All right. That might be me. I so like, not... Anson has one. So let's see if it's him. Actually, it's not me. It's not me. It's somebody else. Let's see if I. Oh, maybe this calculator is not out. Oh, here we go. So somebody right now is typing in XWV. Who's that? Is anybody typing that in? It's got to be somebody. Well, usually what happens is their <laughs> name pops up. And this is a student's calculator at, um, showing the steps by that. Because I find by the time I have my third class of the day, I'm like, come on, kids. Like, everybody should know how to do this. But this really allows it to slow down and go at the speed of the students if they are running the show and showing us how to do the calculations. I saw a couple people. Mm -hmm. How many are now using, how many use this? Can They're you? in every classroom but one, and that teacher we try and piece things together and run calculators so here. So run calculators. they're all being used virtually by every kid that goes through math? Yes. They're not in the AP Calc class yet, but those kids are kind of getting that way, so it'll be interesting to see when they get to that top-level class, are they going to say, where's my Inspire calculator? Yeah. But thanks to the foundation for getting us started on this. <laughs> <laughs>